had stated earlier on, we have a conversation on career and this is something you do not want to miss. A warm welcome to you again. If at all you're just joining us, this is why in the morning. My name is Ram Aguko and you're just in time for this conversation of the day. It's all about choosing a career today and I'm joined by Austin Omanya. He is a youth mentor. Karibu San Austin. Thank you so much, sir. And today we're going to have a very interesting conversation with uh, this particular person. He has quite a rapport. Um, on youth and career engage with us the hashtag is why in the morning at ramaguko and at y254 channel is where you can find us ensure that you also head over to, to uh, uh, facebook and twitter in all our platforms and drop in your comments there so um austin yes sir um let's get to know who you are first yeah um what what you do uh technically just in a small nutshell um you know who is austin uh omanya oh thank you so much uh, thank you for having me in the show. And, uh, Austin is just a simple boy, a village boy somewhere from uh, <laughs> Homer Bay County. That's how they all start. Huh? Yeah, that's how it all starts. <laughs> mm. And uh, Austin is uh, a lecturer. He's also a teacher by profession. Mm -hmm. Austin is an entrepreneur. Austin is uh, a youth mentor and also mm -hmm. a counseling psychologist. Mm -hmm. So Austin is uh, the whole world put together in one arm. All right. Yeah. And, uh, you, you said you, you, you teach and uh, you're a lecturer. Yes. Um, where exactly? Uh, I teach in various institutions, mm -hmm. Kenya Institute of Management, Oshawa College, mm -hmm. and then we also have KIPS, Kenya oh. Institute of Professional Studies. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and this is particularly one individual that, uh, based on that particular, um, let's say, CV or information, you can be able to know how to engage him. Yes. How can people find you on social media? Oh, social media, I'm Mentor Austin Omanya. Mm. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel, which mm -hmm. is called Mentor Austin Omanya. Mentor. Austin Omanya. Across right. LinkedIn, mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, all the same name. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so, um, if we look at career, yes. uh, you're a teacher, yep. you lecture, you teach, yes. you, you mentor people. And uh, one interesting bit is that you're also interested in entrepreneurship. Yes. That's one very interesting bit because so many people always focus on uh, getting the white collar jobs. And the question is, how do you balance? Well, but before we get to that, um, tell us, what should a youth do? As we speak, there are many who have just finished their uh, Form 4. They are interested in getting into the universities. And there is this confusion. How can I choose a career that is best suited for myself? Mm -hmm. I don't know which course to take. I don't know which path to go. I don't know which university to go to. And the parent is on that person's neck. Mm -hmm. you know? And the confusion there lies in between this career and that other career. Which one pays more? <laughs> <laughs> you see, which one pays more? And you, you, you're the lecturer there. You're yes. teaching all these students, and they're all confused on ex what a career exactly they are going to select after that course. Mm -hmm. where, what should I, uh, you know, uh, where should I youth start from exactly? Wow, that is so interesting. Actually, uh, so many youths right now are in uh, Kwagma. They're mm. in a situation whereby they don't know what is good. They don't know what to do. Uh, apparently, I find uh, that is why we started the career talk <coughs> uh, somewhere uh, last year, and it is a program that is still going for every student that is in uh, uh, joining uh, the university or the colleges. Mm. Uh, career path is uh, insurmountable if you are not careful, if you are not guided well. And uh, one reason why so many young people are confused is because we are being told go to school. And then there are those courses, there are those careers we, we used to embrace a long time ago because mm -hmm. of their nature, because of their name. Like I wanted to become a pilot. I don't know when I grow up, maybe I can become one. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to become a doctor. But who you could... wanted to become a doctor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he, <laughs> this is the right place. When you want to choose a career, there uh -huh. are several factors you need to consider. And number one, you know, I, I didn't know what I was holding. Mm -hmm. You know, not unless you realize a potential in a, in a student, mm. you may not guide them. They might not go far in career choice. I, 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 and who is it exactly that should guide this student? This, uh, in fact, um, let me just say, it is the entire society. Because if you leave the, this work to the teacher, mm. uh, maybe it could not go well. Because parents, mm. I find parents as the center pole in career change. Why mm -hmm. do I say parents? Mm -hmm. 
Um, you'll hear parents saying, your mother is a teacher, your brother is a teacher, your aunt is a teacher, so you must become you a must teacher. Be. Mm -hmm. Or, I want you to become a pilot, or I want you to become a lawyer, you know? Mm -hmm. Why do you say you want that child to become a lawyer? To serve your own interest, or are you looking at the potential of that particular kid? Now, but now, for, for this particular kid, yes, you know, be, because, okay, before we get to that particular parent, mm -hmm. As a, as a youth, yes. what should I do? How do I receive all this information mm -hmm. in a way that benefits me? Yes. That is good. And you are right. You know what? Information is power. And information is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Because before you, you, you start thinking of... Right now, if you look at our education system, uh, students are supposed to choose their careers. Mm -hmm. Actually, in Form 3. But apparently, some schools will not um, uh, give limelight to their students till they are in Form 4. Even after Form 4, a student does not know this is what I want to do. Mm. Uh, let me just give you an example. I've been in, uh, you know, I do mentorship in high schools. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, anytime I get into a high school, uh, you will find the career compass. Mm. The career compass is there. Mm. Uh, but actually, from the gate to the reception, you get that in most schools. Mm -hmm. And you see, this career compass is, not, is just there. But there's no one who can implement it to, to, to the, the, the need of this particular Someone youth. to emphasize on what exactly, uh, exactly it entails. Exactly. We are being told, you do this, do this. Teachers, <laughs> something very funny. Mm -hmm. If I'm a chemistry teacher, English literature teacher, I'll come to class, teach, and go. I want to cover the syllabus. I don't care about the soft skill, the life skill that I should enhance in this particular kid. That is why you'll find that during our time, we were really being pushed to perform, get mm. that marks. But you didn't know. To after be number getting, one. Exactly. After getting these marks, then what next? Because I remember you used to perform very poorly, especially in class eight. I could be number, we were 21, <laughs> we were 21 candidates. During that time. And, and I, I was actually either number 21 or number 20. <laughs> and you see, <laughs> so we were put in a certain group, uh, number one, and my cousin was also either, I became number one, and uh, number 21, or number, uh, she's number 20. Or you, you, uh, you or we, we were you, alternating. It's like you are shifting. Uh, definitely. Uh, yeah. You become a cousin. Yes. But, but now, if, if, if I look at that particular uh, uh, story that yeah. you've just told us, yes. are you saying that for someone who has just done their KCPE, their KCSE, yes. they have gotten the, 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 that grade that the father, the mother, the society doesn't like, they consider that grade as a failure, a D, that D minus, yes. that E's. You know, people failing... Even some being the, uh, at the bottom, uh, actually they're, they're number one from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I was. <laughs> like you are. Are you saying that fa that particular grade does not mean that uh, uh, they have failed in their career? Grade is just a grade. We have A, B, C, okay, those are letters, all right? Mm -hmm. But what am I holding? You know, what is my potential? Because if you judge me by what I got, I, think, I don't think you are helping me. Okay. You're not helping me at all. But you I need to tell, if a student has a, a D plus, that's a very good grade. In fact, mm. D plus is good. You yep. can do something that, with it. That, that, that particular student has got a lot of potential. But if Ernest well and she or he is guided well, mm. I'm telling you those are the great people. Why do you think A students are working for C students? Why? Why? Yes, there's something. Because the A student thinks... Uh, uh, being academic giant is mm. everything. But the C student will try now, what else? What can I do? What is this in the society that, the problem that I can solve in the, 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 the Then how should a parent be able to relate with this particular student who is performing poorly in class? Yes. These people need encouragement. And you only need, you see, if I go to school, like there's, there's a, a, this particular student I'm mentoring, mm. um, uh, he, he told me that he's good at drawing, but he has lost interest in schoolwork. And the mother uh -huh. is mad. Uh -huh. The father is pushing. In fact, at one time, they went and burnt all, the, all those, uh, his stuff, the art stuff, so that he can concentrate. On school. I told the parent, come on, come on. 
this boy is just on the right path. He only needs some guidance. But you see, we live in a society, the 21st century, yes. and interestingly, this is talking about career in the 21st century, mm -hmm. where people want to get quick cash. Yes. People want to, uh, as youths, they, they uh, youths use this word, kuomoka. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you wonder, how can uh, you know, use, concentrate on your talent and still believe that you will utaomoka. Yes. Utapata pesa sangapi. Because now parents want to uh, have this notion, as, as it is in the society, that particular careers earn more money mm -hmm. than others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is true. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, b before somebody even think of uh, a career to pursue, and uh, uh, you look at money as the motivational factor, mm. you get it wrong from the foundation. Mm -hmm. You get it purely wrong. Because if you look at money, then I'm telling you, uh, you are going to use a lift instead of staircases to go up there. Mm -hmm. And that is practically what is happening to our young generation right now. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to buy a car, Subaru, go to Vasha, things of the kind. And um, everyone wants to you know, get a lot of money within a short time. You mm -hmm. know? But mm -hmm. career is built. For you to be the best footballer today, you must wake up each minute, each, I mean each day, practicing. You must hook up with the right people. You, uh -huh. you have to look for the right coach. But right, right now as we speak, very few young people have mentors. I don't know if you have one. I don't want to get there. <laughs> but <laughs> in the real sense, we don't have people I, who I, can I, hold our hands. I do. Good. And that is why you're here. Yeah? We don't have people who can hold our hands. And I also mentor others. Very good. As I, ment I am mentored, I also mentor. Very good. I was having this particular conversation yesterday with one particular um, <laughs> individual. Yeah. And, uh, and, and she was asking me, how can I select a career for myself? Oh, yes. And uh, she was saying that I have so many courses in my mind, so many courses, and mm -hmm. it's foggy, you know. Mm -hmm. It's foggy for, for many. Mm -hmm. And right now we are in a season where many are joining universities mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. So it's a very... It's, it's, it's actually a good time that you're having this conversation exactly. with you. When it is all foggy for you, yes. how do you demystify this? How do you clear your, your, your mind? That is the question I came here to answer. Actually, I'm going to give that under what I call the four P's of career choice. Uh -huh. Four P's of career journey. Come on, Kitabu. Get a pen and a notebook, brother or sister. Get a pen and a notebook. The four P's. Actually, they put it as a, as, as a topic the there. Four P's. One. One. Purpose. Powerful. Purpose. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand your purpose, mm -hmm. my friend, there is no career that can suit you in this world. But what is my purpose in life? Purpose. What, why, 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 are you able to answer the question, why? Why? If you answer the question why, then you have it right. What do you mean by why? Why, why? why this or why me? Okay. Why what? Why am I, uh. Uh, am I interested to do this? Because uh -huh. practically, uh -huh. practically if, you, if, you want to, if you want to, you know, uh, escalate, uh, you know, with powerful notion in your career, you have to understand what, if I do this, what problem will I be solving? You see, I see so many students rushing, telling me, you know, I want to do marketing, I want to do HR, I want to do this and this. Then I ask them, why do you want to do HR? And in which area in specific, you know, mm -hmm. do you want really to, uh, you are interested. You what know? is your purpose for choosing this career? Exactly. You have to answer why. By the way, let me tell you, people who don't understand their purpose are problem makers outside here. They are problem makers outside here. Jack of all trades. A jack of all trades. Master of uh, you, you end up, and that is why I, I don't, I don't sometimes, uh, initially I used to blame the government because we, we ha we, you have papers, you have very good grades, you know, but there's no job. We were taken to a school whereby we thought having a degree is a free ticket to a good job. Mm. And we were frustrated. You know, you know what, what I was told when I left high school? Mm -hmm. That where Peter took KCP, KCC. <laughs> Peter took. Shock then, on me. Then, my yeah. friend, you'll be frustrated outside here. What I want you to do, in fact, if you are watching this show, right today, 
your main purpose. All right? Once you pen it down and you say, my purpose, my one reason for pursuing this career is mm. one, two, or three, or one, then I'll tell you the next P, if you are satisfied. Once you've written what purpose it is you yes. have, have you written that purpose down? Write it down. Tell us what purpose do you have for that particular career that you've chosen? Write it down. Yeah. And from that, I believe you, it, it, it helps to clear up your mind yes. so that you can be able to know actually where you're heading to. Exactly. Second P. Second P, potential. Wow. Potential. Potential is ability. What do you ability mean? Ability to, to, to get something moving. You know, you know you're a powerhouse. I'm a powerhouse. We are all powerhouses. We are po Anytime a child is born, mm. a child is born holding something. I've never seen a child who is born like a diver. No. Mm -hmm. A child is born holding something. Which means, anytime you're coming to this world, there is that thing that you need to pursue. There is that thing that you need to achieve. Regardless of the background that you've been born into. Regardless of where you come from. It doesn't matter. Even if you're from a poor family. My friend, if you talk about poverty, I think... I came from below poverty. above <laughs> poverty and below poverty. My friend, there is poverty above and below. I tell you, sometimes life is uh, uh, very harsh outside here. Mm -hmm. But today I am here, mentoring people. I was telling them I was called in Mang High School the other day when I was talking to students at Mang, mm. and um, apparently I told them, you know what, God works miracles. Mm. Because I cried to come to this school after mm. I repeated KCPE to get the best grade that could get me here. You had to redo your KCPE. Yes. See, I told you my first school I used to be bottom 21. Out of 21. And then the teachers put us in a group. Mm. Uh, to number 21 and number 20. With my cousin, Florence. So we were in the same group. So we were called group Yawajinga, you see? And that wow. killed me. In fact... Uh, my law, my, my self-esteem was really thwarted. So, you, and, and you, 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 you did it again? I, no, I went to a different school. And that teacher looks at me and tells me that, you know what, young man? Mm. You have to become number one because you are the only repeater in this school. And then we do an elimination test. The one that was pulling others to back to class seven. Mm. And then I become number two. And instead wow. of awarding me, mm. he hits me. Gave me six kids and told me, do you remember what I told you? You have to become number one because you are the only student who is repeating, sitting you <laughs> again in this class. Roger. You became <laughs> number two and for, for becoming number two, Kachapwa. Yes. Just imagine that Mr. Omito, that is the only teacher I can celebrate. Mr. Omito. Mr. Omito changed my life. You see, he called me in the staff room and told me that, yeah, my, you know what? Um, I'm not doing this because I hate you. Take this 100 bob. I want you to go buy paraffin. <laughs> and so, maybe you look for, uh, maybe you also buy soap so mm. that you can wash your uniforms in time and uh, you, you use the, uh, the paraffin to do studies. You can do it. I believe in you. So mm. believe in yourself. And I'll tell you, from that time, I never became number two in that this, school. This is how powerful <laughs> teachers can be in schools. Well, I tell you. Teachers can have an influence teachers, on, on, on the kind of career. You, you, those you, are you, great people. Teachers are great people. They can make or kill. And that, that Mr. Mito made me believe in myself. And from that time, I think I've never limited it myself. Even if challenges, situations are too tough, even after, after high school, there I am, no one is taking you to college. I mean, I, you don't know even where you're going, so you try and jingle, and things are not working. You know, it's interesting what you're saying here, because I'm seeing two voices that you've mentioned. The first voice is the one that you said, Mr. Omito. Yes. He said that you can make it. You can make it. He said you can be number one. Yes. And the right. second voice is the one that was there previously from the other school yes. where they said we were in a group. Yeah. Zero. Wajinga. <laughs> At the bottom. And they're all teachers. Yes. So <laughs> it means we will always meet teachers who either encourage you yes. or discourage you. Or towards your ambition. That is it. In fact, why it's not for Mr. Omito? I don't know where I could have been right now. Because even the family where I came from, mm -hmm. ah, my friend, you are good for nothing. I mean, no one sees anything good in you. So you that know? is number two. That is number two. Number yes. three. So remember, number one, I said you have to understand your purpose. Mm -hmm. Then number two, 
potential. You are holding something. Mm -hmm. You are holding and, something. And anyone can see that potential and in you. anyone can see the that. The way Mr. Mito saw that potential, but potential me, in you. even if they don't see it, even if they don't see it, because no one will tell you, Austin, you can be an <laughs> eloquent speaker. Uh -huh. you, I mean, you can be a public speaker. You can be a motivational speaker. No one will tell you that. You know, I love what you're saying. You have the potential, and people will see it, but even if, even if they don't, they see, don't it. see it. My friend, raise your head from the sand. Number three. Wow. <laughs> possibility. Possibility. The third P now uh -huh. is possibility. You know, I love reading the Bible so much. Okay. I'm a preacher of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to preach something that I don't believe. If you look at Luke 18.27, it says, Jesus looked unto them, and he told them, but you know what, you guys, even if you have lost hope, remember, even if it is too difficult for mankind, with God it is possible. Mm. You see, that, that, that belief, that belief, if you believe that whatever I'm doing, so long as I've asked God to give me wisdom and direction, you know, I'm going to make it. it that belief only. Positivity. That positive mindset uh -huh. is everything. That it is positive possible. Positive mindset. Mindset is all you need. So we should. So that youth who is watching us today yes. in in this conversation, con concerned about their career path, they believe that it is still possible. It believe that you can still make exactly. it. Exactly. Because the at the point that you you don't you stop believing on the possibilities is where you fail. That is where you fail. L let me just give you a small scenario here. Uh, there was a time I was uh, okay when I was doing my masters, and then. Uh, uh, a friend of mine, I, I shared with him that, you know, I don't have money. Mm. I can, I, I, but I want to pursue this. Uh -huh. then, he told me, I, then I told him, you know, I have something small to start with, right? But I need to call people to help me fundraise. He told me, my friend, you cannot call people to raise for you funds to do masters. It is impossible. A friend of mine told me that. But I composed a message and sent to another friend. And then mm. told me, don't, don't worry. Add me to the group. Within three weeks, mm. these guys are draped for me 300,000. <laughs> Within three weeks. So you see, wow. there's always that possibility. My friend, whatever you believe in and you testify with your tongue becomes in the mindset. You know, it's, it's, it's quite interesting because we live in a, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, in, a, in, in a time when people hear so many voices. Even in families. It is true. You can find that your own father, your own mother can tell you, you won't make it in life. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's possible for you to do it. A relative can say that, ah, who you to know your family? It is true. Uh, and, it and, is and, true. and it can be, it can go so deep and, 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 and dis demoralize and discourage you because that person that you had so much faith on has told you that true. you can't make it. It is true. And that is how we've killed so many dreams in this world. That is how we kill so many dreams. Because in families, by the way, if you come from a, a, a family where you are not supported, mm. there are high chances that you won't make it <laughs> at the top there. High chances. Why? Because a child will believe that I, I cannot do this, I cannot do this. I wish we had time. I could have given you the story of the, 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 the chick mm. and the the, the eagle's egg. One day, one day we'll come and, and, and talk about that. Yes, you know, story. the chick, uh, the, the, the eagle, the eaglet mm. died not knowing that it could fly. Uh -huh. Simply because the, the, the eggs were brewed together with mm. the hen's eggs. Oh, they so they were hatched together. Uh -huh. So it just died pricking on the ground. Pricking on the ground not till it died. You see, if you're born in a family that is not supportive, people who do, do not appreciate you, people who don't know your value. They say, you know, in, in, in this family, there is no doctor who has ever come up, so you not, uh, your dream of becoming a doctor exactly, is null and void. Exactly. Your, your, your grandfather didn't make it, your father and, and your will, uh, your mother, <laughs> is, you know, you can't make it. I didn't know you. You can't make it. If you believe and listen to those Negative voices. Mm -hmm. You are not going far. You are not going far. Wow. I want to go Pos to the last. We, we need to understand the <laughs> the power of possibility. Exactly. Let's go to the next one. The, uh, the last one. The, the four P's. This is the last P. Yes. Planning. 
Wow. The first P was purpose. Purpose. Understand your why. Mm -hmm. Second P, you are born holding something, your mm -hmm. potential. Mm -hmm. You can do, become anything in this world mm -hmm. that you want. Mm -hmm. The third P, I talked about possibilities. Possibilities. But everything is possible under the sun. Mm. So long as you have a creative mindset. Mm -hmm. The last P now is planning. Somebody said that if you want to chop down a tree today and somebody gives you eight hours, then you need to take either seven or six hours sharpening your axe. You know why? Mm -hmm. If you want that big money, that big career, that big dream, if you want to get there at the top, you have to do something here. Take time to plan. You have to prepare. Before Which you plant a seed, you have to prepare. Which many people don't do. We, 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 don't. Are, we are too quick to, uh, uh, you know, want to make it. That we forget <laughs> the, the strategy. We need to be strategic in our career. Exactly. You have to plan. By the way, let me tell you. If a student does not have like 10 careers, the 10 careers they want to pursue, mm. and they do research on those careers, and they minimize them to either four or three, and then they, they, they minimize them further to one career that they mm. want, mm. and they start working towards that, that student may not make it to what he or she wanted to become. What should they do? Number one, under preparation. You see, I have schools that are doing STEM and STEAM. Mm. You know, we could be talking about careers in the 10, 21st century. You know, STEM is where they, they do sciences, they do technology, uh, they do math, mm -hmm. uh, the other, the Engin other engineering. ST and engineering, yeah. right? Yeah. But right now, there is an A that has been added. STEM. -a. Yes. STEM, STEAM, so now it is like STEAM. Yeah. Oh, yeah. S -T -E -A -M. Yes, yes. A -M. Mm. That A means art. And you see, art is creativity. And you see, art again is mm. collaborative. Nature okay. or personal networking. You know? Mm. There's something you've asked me just before I forget you. What mm. was it? I've asked you about you have, you have the 10 uh, uh, careers, careers and you then you, you, you do research them. on to narrow down. Yes. You have narrowed them. Mm. So you narrow them either three. Then from three, start at the top. Number one, this is what I want. Mm. What are the requirements of this career? What grade, entry grade do I need? Do I need biology, chemistry? Or do I need biology, chemistry, physics? Do I need geography? Which subject combination do I need? Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Then after coming to that, now I know there is, uh, uh, these are even the universities. I should be, I should, I should, I should uh, offering this, this course. These are the universities and after the, uh, the college, I can get internship here, I can get these, I, I can be paid this. You know, when you have information, then it is going to be very easy to be motivated to pursue the, that. The, 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 the challenge that I see with the, uh, the modern youth is they want to be told which career to choose. Yes. Um, a youth will, I, I don't know if, if you've experienced it that. You can tell us. Yes. A youth will come to you and ask you, please tell me which career do I go for? That is it. That is somebody who went through school. You pass through school because a school is supposed to nurture your career. The moment you enter a school like this, that is in Nasser. Nowadays they call it PP, PP1. PP1. Yes? Mm. The teacher who is there is supposed to see what you are holding. The potential in you. And that is why developed countries are doing well. So it's okay for you, for, for, for a, a, a youth to come and tell you, and ask you, what career do I go for? And uh, expect to get an answer and they go for that. Uh, 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 okay. Yes, because the damage has already been done. <laughs> <laughs> the damage has already been done. That is why they will come. Somebody who has just, by the way, so many of them, I heard uh, before they chose the, their careers, you know, uh, some few few weeks ago. Mm. Every Tom, Dick and Harry was coming. I had a career week. I was training them on career. And so many youths were telling me, I don't know even what to do. I've been called to do this. I don't know. This is what I didn't want. This and this. Mm. And then I told them that, you know what? You can start somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right? But the bigger picture, the first P will still remain. But you have to start somewhere. Yeah? There's mm. a lot of confusion. 
Why? Because we are not told these things in school. Especially right from primary school. The teacher is supposed to, I love CBC. And if this country can implement CBC to the latter, I'm mm. telling you it is one of the best models of education. I, I, I want us uh, not to fail to touch on this uh, particular aspect here. Entrepreneurship. Yes. They say that uh, uh, even as you're selecting a, a career, mm -hmm. they, they say you, you can't succeed without doing business. Uh, I've heard many say that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if you agree with it. Yeah, I, that, that you can't just expect to be earning a salary every single month and be successful without having an entrepreneurial mind yes. or getting into business. Is that okay. true? Uh, that is true. And I think say that is true. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we talked about, uh, the, other, the other week I had uh, uh, youth employability skills training. Mm. We were doing that. Mm. And then uh, one youth asked that uh, they have never heard about this, even in high school. They just knew they need to get certificate and, and go. Yes. <laughs> get some job. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the real sense, something must be done beyond and beyond that. Coming back to your question, make it very clear. Mm. Then I tell somebody something there. Mm. Your question was? Getting into entrepreneurship. Getting into entrepreneurship. I believe everyone who wants to make it up there should have an entrepreneurial mindset. Self-employment is becoming the only hope in this country. The only hope in the world. Why? Wow. Because even if I am a lawyer mm. practicing somewhere, mm. I'm, 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 I'm employed in a law firm somewhere, and I don't have the, the, the entrepreneurial mindset, mm. I'll die working for other people. But remember, anytime you're working for somebody, you are just helping them to achieve their vision. What is your vision? Mm -hmm. What is my vision? Mm -hmm. Which means by the time you pack your vision in a briefcase, you forget about it. So even if you've, you've gotten your dream job, yes. your dream career, exactly. do a business, you get a business. To. You have to. Why? Because salary will never solve your problems. And they say salary is slavery. I don't say you leave that job, my friend. Even me, I'm still <laughs> My employer, don't fire me, all right? <laughs> don't, don't, don't resign. But as much as you are working, enjoying working for the salary, uh. but please, you have to blend it with entrepreneurial mindset. Uh. Any career that you're doing today, be it be, I mean, business management, be it project management, think of how you can start your own initiative. And also create employment. And I think that is what the government is really uh, drumming up. We need to create <laughs> employment. Yes? Because if I want, if every Tom, Dick and Harry want to be employed, uh, who is going to, where, okay, who is going to create these chances for employment? Who? I, 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 me and you. We need to create employment also there. Yes. Because. We are looking for, to get employed. Instead yeah. of thinking on how we to can employ, employ others. We are not solving a problem in this society. In fact, I think we are increasing the number of problems we have. Exactly. And then you say poverty, poverty. Poverty will come mm. and it will come and you will talk about it and it will never go anywhere. Because the number of employees are more than the number of employers. Exactly. Exactly. The government promised so many jobs to young people. And you see, I was just smiling somewhere. Yeah? My friend, any time you tell people that we are going to employ you, they are not going to think. Mm. If you look outside there, there are numerous, numerous problems outside there. And I love my professor once told me this, that you know what? You are not here, sitting here, to learn on papers and get your certificate and go away. Mm. You are seated here in this lecture hall to solve a problem. And anytime you see people, just find out what problem you can solve from them. I have so, several contacts and I was telling somebody, I cannot fail to pay my rent. Mm. I have people. I have a Google, I have brand, I have everyone, you know. Why don't I look for a problem that I can solve for these people? And that is, that is exactly what every young person is supposed to be thinking about. What is that problem? People are crying everywhere. Every day there is this, every day there is this. Why don't you sit down 
as a problem solver. Get and a solution. Have, exactly. Wow. Uh, time is on our side. Yes. I, I want us to wrap this conversation up in a nutshell. Yes. And I want you to speak to that Kenyan youth who is watching you about youth and career. Yes. What should be their take home for, for the day? Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Just within, within like 30 seconds or so. Definitely. Mm. My take and what you're supposed to take as a young person. Today, where you are, don't lament. That is the foundation of where you're supposed to start from. Start from somewhere. But if, well, as long as you have that big dream up there, as long as you believe in what you are doing right now, as long as you are putting effort each day and you are writing a time schedule of whatever you want to achieve each day, you are on the right track. Maybe, if I can remind you, have a mentor, somebody who can work with you, somebody who can pull, hold your hand and take you to Canaan. That is the best place <laughs> in career up there. Thank you so much. You have to say it. <laughs> Canaan. <laughs> Omanya, Asante Sana. Yes. Thank you for coming. And, 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 and I, I believe you've, you've really inspired so many who have uh, tuned in today. The four P's yes. about entrepreneurship. Don't depend on your salary. Wow, thank you so much. You enjoy, enjoy that you follow him on social media again. Yes. Uh, Menta Omanya. Men Menta Austin mm -hmm. Omanya. Austin Omanya. YouTube Menta, Menta Austin Omanya. Mm -hmm. I've even done the, three, uh, the four P's. Mm -hmm. They are there. Yeah, Personal branding, YouTube. interview, mm. there's a lot of stuff on my, my YouTube channel. The next time you come, yes. we, let's talk about it, our other perspective of career. Exactly. And especially what you've mentioned, personal branding. Exactly. Because everyone is interested in doing something, in, in doing everything, to the point that we forget about our brands. Exactly. Interesting. You are a brand. I'm a strong brand. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, uh, Austin Omaya. He is a youth mentor. Uh, thank you so much for coming, my brother. It's a pleasure. Keep thank doing you. what you're doing. Thank you so much. Uh, the hashtag, as always, is one in the morning. Keep twisting and keep texting at Ram Maguko and at Y254 channel. We are taking a short break. After this, we'll be back with more. Keep it one in the morning. Wow.